welcome to lecture 11 part 3 in this lecture we will discuss more about variables so we will be discussing the differences among where let and const these are used for the declaration of the variables in javascript but there are some major differences among them so uh, let's understand the differences with the help of examples now let's try to understand these differences for printing the values i'll be using the console of the browser instead of using document.write because console of the browser will let you know what are the various errors while you are trying to access some value the first difference lies in the scope of the variable so i'll put a comment here scope of variable So, as you know that any variable that is declared globally is called as globally scoped variable and a variable which is defined or declared within a, a block of code then it is called as a block scoped variable. Now, in this I am going to create one block of code. A true condition if true or you can write any other condition that always stands true. Let's, uh, let's say if 9 is greater than 8. Now, within this condition we are going to declare a variable as where score. So a variable which is declared with the help of where keyword. The value is 99. You already know that this, this condition is already true and hence it should be able to print the value of score. Which is correct. It is printing the value. But this is not the case that we are discussing. What we have to discuss is that we need to access this value outside the scope. Now using where keyword, you will be able to access the value outside the block, uh, outside this block. After saving this, you will be able to see that it is able to access the value 99. Same is not the case with let and const. If you declare the same variable using let keyword, it will not let you to access the value because any variable declared with let keyword is block scope and hence with const as well it it will with const as well it will function the same way so still you are not able to access the value so any variable that is declared with let and const are block scope and the variable declared with where keyword is globally scoped this is the first difference. The next difference is the initialization of the variable. Let's say if I'm declaring a variable with where keyword. I'm just declaring. I'm not assigning any value. Means we are not initializing it. So without defining any value, what value you can expect on the console? Let's check it out and think about it what really it is going to print will it print some error will it show us some error or show some garbage value after saving you will find that it is showing us undefined undefined is a data type in javascript just like number string boolean and object so but that's not the case when we go with const but yes if you write here let the same thing is applicable with let as well. Whenever you are defining, whenever you are declaring the variable, not initializing it, with let keyword also, it will show you undefined. But when you use const, then it will show you an error. So in your file itself, it will show you a red line indicating that this const keyword is expecting some constant value that we are not mentioning here. And hence, it will show you an error. Next difference is redeclaration. Redeclaration means that you are declaring the variable for the second time. Let's say we are having a variable marks 1 and we are giving it value as 98. Once again, I am declaring it marks 1 equals to I will give now 95. So you need to understand that when we are using the keyword once again that is redeclaration this is not redeclaration this is reassignment when we are not using the keyword that is reassignment 
So this is a declaration, a redeclaration. Try to access the value once again and think what it should print, whether it will print the initial value or the updated value. And yes, it is printing the updated value only. Now let's try to do the same thing with let. We write here let and write here as well let. You can see it will not let you redeclare and hence it will show you an error. Identifier marks run has already been declared. Same is the case with const. It will not let you redeclare. But right now what we are doing, we are using the same keyword. Let's say if I am using where and here I am using let. Again it is showing us the error. So, redeclaration is only possible when you are redeclaring with where keyword and initially also it is already declared with where keyword. So, both times if it is where keyword, then only it will show you some value and not an error. While that's not the case with let and let, const and const, where and let, let and where, const and let and so on. None of the other combinations will work here. Only the redeclaration of a where keyword with where keyword will be considered. Now let's talk about the reassignment. So as already discussed, what is reassignment? We first declare the variable. Let's say I'm using a variable where foo equals to 58. And later on, I'm again assigning a value to it, 96. And let's access the value console.log and the updated value will be printed. There will not be any kind of error in this. So a variable which is declared with where you are reassigning the value, it will work. Now uh, let's check the same thing with let. With let also it works. There is no problem with let. But yes, it's a problem with const because const value means that the value has to be constant. You cannot reassign. After saving, you will find that it is showing you an error. Next difference is hoisting. A hoisting is a concept where you can define a variable before its declaration. Because JavaScript is a loosely typed language and really it's not required uh, to declare your variable, you can simply define its value. Now, we are going to print the value, print this variable. Let's see what it says. It prints 5. You can see that without even writing where, let or const, it is printing the value. It's because of its loosely typed nature. You really do not have to write all those keywords. But when we are in the real world projects, it's, uh, it's good to declare the variables or else there will be debugging issues. We generally use const or let in real world projects. Where is somewhat obsolete these days. But for understanding simple programs, you can use where keyword. Now let's come to the hoisting concept. We already have defined the variable, but let's now declare. So means that we are declaring the variable after its definition. You can see that there is no error. But will it be the same when we are using let or const? You can see there is an error. Cannot access x before its initialization because it does not allow hoisting. This whole concept is called as hoisting. Similarly, you can use const here. It will again give you an error. So hope all these differences are clear to you and hence it will also help you out in understanding uh, the concepts in real world and will help you out in, uh, in answering the questions or in answering the multiple choice questions. I have already summarized the differences here according to scope, initialization, redeclaration, reassignment and hoisting. And uh, you must also take a note that where can be function scope or global scope. You can call it as both function scope or global scope while let and const are always block scope.
now we are approaching the end of the lecture this is the reference to follow and this is the program link that's all for this lecture